We consistently hear claims from the far left terrorist sympathizers that the Jews are operating on stolen land. And that's why what we're seeing happening uh, in Israel, why they justify it. Dr. Michael Savage is here now with us uh, to debunk this. And, sir, go right ahead. Rob, thanks for having me on the show. This is a great opportunity to set the record straight because this is the biggest lie uh, of our time. In other words, the Jews came there after 1948. They're Europeans. They don't belong there. Nothing could be further from the truth, Rob. We have a timeline that was put together through history books, real history books, well known by all educated people on the earth for at least a couple of hundred years. The land of Israel has been populated by the Jewish people since 2000 B.C. Now, here's the timeline in case you think it began in 1948. 1900 B.C., Abraham, chosen by God, is the father of the Jewish nation. nation. 1900 B.C. 1900 B.C., Isaac, Abraham's son, rules over Israel. 1850 B.C., Jacob, son of Isaac, rules over Israel. 1400 B.C., Moses leads the people out of Egypt and back to Israel. 1010 B.C., King David unites the 12 tribes into one nation. 970 B.C., uh, I could go. You want me to keep going? I mean, I have the whole timeline. 970 B.C., King Solomon, uh, son of David, builds the first temple structure in Jerusalem. Yeah. That's 970 before Christ. 930 B.C., Israel is divided into two kingdoms, the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. 800s B.C., the rise of the prophets. Those are God's messengers. 722 B.C., kingdom of Israel is conquered by Assyrians. 605 B.C., kingdom Judah is conquered by the Babylonians. 586 B.C., uh, Solomon's temple is yeah, destroyed mean, by the Babylonians. We go, we've gone back, you know, we're, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands of years before Christ. I mean, where, where, where do they, I mean, how, how do they sell this then? I mean, if, if, if it's that clear, you know, if, if it's in these historical texts, how do they sell to all of these people that seem to believe that this is stolen land, that the, 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 the Jews arrived there and just took it from these uh, poor, innocent people who are now uh, put in this uh, open-air prison, as they call Gaza? I, I see this all over the social media, and most alarmingly, it's not just coming from the uh, insane left, it's coming from the right as well, coming up with this nonsense that they're Kazarians who don't belong in, in Israel. They don't even know what they're talking about. The fact of the matter is most of these people who are screaming the Jews don't belong there are living on conquered land here in America. The Native American was here for 20,000 years before the Europeans colonized this beautiful continent, 20,000 years of, of civilization of these numerous tribes. I'm a student of Native American culture, so they ought to give up their house if they're so concerned to a nice Palestinian family. Uh, it's also coming from the uh, new Nazis of our time, which is Hamas, mm -hmm. which is a new form of ISIS. If we recall what they did, when ISIS took over large swaths of Iraq, remember they were knocking down archeological sites that have been there for a thousand years? Exactly to yeah. deny that there had been any other civilizations in the area other than Islam and Muslims. So they started to destroy cultural icons in the Middle East. People were shocked. Well, guess what, folks? The Palestinians have been destroying archaeological sites in Israel as well, so they can deny the Jewish presence going back to 1900 B.C. They are a new form of ISIS combined with Nazis. And... Well, this is a very important topic for me. I'll stop here because I remember being a kid. I used to collect old magazines in my father's uh, antique store. When I saw that in Madison Square Garden in the late 1930s, 1939, I think just before World War II broke out, there were 20,000 Nazis, American Nazis, gathered in Madison Square Garden. Yep. And I said to my father, how could that be? How could Nazis be in America? Well, guess what? They're still here. Only the new line is the Palestinians are the victims and the Jews are the perpetrators of, of the crimes against uh, themselves. It's astounding, it's astounding, but I'm not shocked at the stupidity and the evil in the world, Rob. I don't think you are as, any, any more shocked than I am. No, you know, and it's I, the, the, the thing that irks me so much is that none of it's based in, in kind of the truth and the reality of the situation. You hear all these people say that, you know, the, the, the Israel deserved this because they keep these people in this in this prison. And they look at what the way I mean, nobody is keeping these if if. If this group of people, with whatever governs them, and I understand that Hamas is not allowing elections, I have, I have an understanding of that, but if the, if the missiles would stop coming from one side, Gaza could be a fully functioning society. It's a hell of a piece of land. They could do whatever they want with it as they please, and Israel would be much happier for it. To see a budding, you know, 
portion of their country, that if it has to be split, first off, Israel could live side by side. I think the Jews could live side by side with these. There's a lot of Arab people that live in Israel right now. It's yes. that's not the problem. You could you could do this right if the missiles would stop. There could be some kind of harmony there. There's one side that's causing all the trouble, and the, the line is, especially from the radical left right now, they've got it completely wrong. In 2005, Ariel Sharon, who I admired as a great general, he encircled the Egyptian Sixth Army, I think, or Third Army, when he crossed the Suez Canal. Great general, became a horrendous moron when it came to running Israel. He gave Gaza back, quote-unquote, to the people in Gaza. It was a huge blunder. I remember talking about it at the time on the radio. Do you know what the Palestinians or the Gaza residents did the minute they got the beautiful greenhouses that were built with American and European contributions from good liberals? They didn't raise uh, flowers for Europe. They didn't raise vegetables for the people in Gaza. They installed rocket launching sites inside the greenhouses. Mm -hmm. They have been at war with the Jewish people since the beginning of time. They only understand murder, death, rape, and destruction. And so I'll ask people who are listening to this show to ask themselves a question. You're having a peace festival in your backyard, and a gang breaks in, rapes your daughter, kills your wife, and shoots your dog. And then you survive somehow. What would you do if you survived that kind of terror, which just happened to Israel? You do exactly what Israel's doing. They've gone into Gaza to wipe out the Hamas Nazis once and for all. And it's a horrible situation to watch all the suffering in Gaza from the innocent people who are trapped inside the claws of Hamas. I don't sit here and celebrate the death of those innocent people. They're poor people. They're agrarian people. They're poor shopkeepers. Nobody deserves to live this way, but this is what you get when you have a criminal Nazi organization taking over a country such as they have done in Gaza. Michael Savage. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me back.